Hey, what is up guys? It's Casual here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the best render settings on Sony Vegas for uh, YouTube Gaming 2016. Uh, you need a fairly powerful computer to actually render uh, with these settings, but you know, you could do it with any computer really. It just takes a longer time. Uh, so firstly, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this clip, any clip, whatever the hell you want, and uh, just put it in the timeline down here. Right click, uh, switches, and disable resample. So what this does is, uh, let me just try and explain it. Say you have a frame. Um, right, so say you've recorded a 60 FPS gameplay. Now what this will do is it will fade each frame into each other. Instead of actually just uh, showing them frame by frame, it will actually fade each frame into each other. Which will uh, actually make it look horrible. Let's just put it on here. I can actually give you an example. Smart resample. Switches, smart resample. Um, it does actually show up at some points. It's just very hard to see it. Right, no, it's actually impossible to show you right now. But when you take a screenshot from here with a resample and you'll be able to tell what it looks like. It just actually shows two frames overlapping each other with a fade in between them. It just looks really horrible. Anyway, uh, these are my render settings, which I use, by the way, guys. So I render in 60 FPS and whatnot. So what you're going to want to do... Well, yeah, uh, I can never seem to talk, probably. What you're going to want to do is... Uh, what I do is I go here and I choose HD 1080p. Uh, I believe I can't see it anywhere. Uh, just choose this one for now. If you guys are just uh, editing these settings, just choose this one right here. Um... And then it should come up with something like this. All you're going to want to do is change this to 59 here, which is uh, effectively 60 FPS. Leave that off. Pixel format 8 bit. Best. You want to change this to best. This matters. Uncheck this. Definitely uncheck this. Check that here. And then uh, apply and OK. That's all you got to do. Oh, and actually, name. Let me just show you actually. Sorry. Right, here we are. See? What you want to do is change this. That. That. Change a name, so... And then click this little save button here. And then apply and OK. That's all you got to do. Okay, so next you want to do file and render. I'm pretty sure you guys don't know how to do this, but you know. Uh, you want to go to main concept, which is MP4. Find internet 1080p wherever you are, internet HD 1080p, customized template right there. I'm just going to show you mine. And you want to change it to these settings here. So profile high, frame rate, make sure to change that to 59.94, then uh, it should just add the zeros on, uncheck this, known that. Okay, uh, now we're going to have a look at the bit rate. This right here, I've done a lot of research, and this bit rate right here is the perfect bit rate. Okay, it's not overkill, it's just, it's the best you can get when uploading to YouTube. So maximum is 50 million, average is 40 million. You can go to maximum 40 million, average 30 million. It will decrease the quality a tiny bit, but it will speed up your rendering. Uh, enable progressive download, that's fine. Just make sure to uh, pause the video and copy all these out. Audio, uh, sample rate, change that to your heads uh, headphone sample rate, which if you go to recording devices down here in the bottom right uh, recording microphone properties go to levels I believe, no, listening advanced here you can see the actual sample rate of it right here so you might as well change that to the sample rate, I'm not going to bother right now uh, that will actually make your uh, audio sound a lot more clearer and also remember to go on system and check GPU it says CUDA is available, so change that to CUDA down here. If it says OpenCL, change it to OpenCL. If it says nothing, just click Render using CPU only. That's all you got to do. And in Project, Best. Got to have that on Best. Uh, all that, the rest is fine. You can name it up here, whatever you want. Click the little Save button. And then OK. And then uh, that's how you do it. And then all you got to do then is uh, just click Render. And it'll start rendering out your video. So uh, yeah guys, if you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial, it's my first tutorial and I'm not very good at it, I'm sort of 
<laughs> not very good at actually going in depth into things right now, but you know, it's my first tutorial, so uh, yeah, if, uh, if this uh, helps you guys out, and if you uh, can get some good quality videos out of this, by the way, this is 60 FPS, you can do 30 FPS, all you gotta do is uh, change it to 29 point something on the uh, actual thing which I did, instead of 59.94, you can actually just half that and just go with 30 FPS if you really want to, but I recommend 60 FPS because it looks so much nicer. And it's definitely worth the double render time. Okay, so uh, yeah. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, remember to subscribe. Peace.